big old lorry coming round here. I mean, he, 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 the only thing he was, was, was like, he had a look, go round and round about, come back round. He, uh, the only thing he was, was this old push. When you put the blinkers on him, what he done to him? When you put the blinkers on him, he uh, obviously changed his outlook on life, didn't he? Which way he's going and where he's, what he's doing. So, you know, but... It's not short. So as you can see, you can just drive him there on a nice rain, and his old head's up and, and in, his face is in. You know, he's looking nice. We're just going to stop outside the old shop here for a minute, and uh, good boy. We'll take him across this red brickwork, look here, and then over the pavement bit, so all the old colours under his feet, he's not bothered. And then I asked him to stand here. Oh, good boy. Then he is to uh, to let him trot out the yard. You know, just let him walk. And good as gold. He's a lovely mouth on him. He's just staying out of driving. What concerns me is. I thought you were quite up in the driving world, you know, doing the job properly. You know, like I'm be doing the job properly. I thought you was quite up in the driving world, doing the job, you know, a good few years. But now I've been, you know, you said on the phone the other day you're quite novice at it. It concerns me a little bit that he's a little bit, he wouldn't be the best of novice horses. When you start off in the morning, you know, you bring him out, you put him in, he's up together, he wants to get on with the job. And, um, you know, um, a little bit impetuous. I don't know how to put it really into the right words. I drive him no trouble at all. Maybe you might find him a little bit of an handful. Maybe not, I don't know. But when I come up, you either come down and get him when we drive him. If I can bring him up, I'll bring him up and we'll drive him and you can then see how he is and you know make your own decisions as, as to how you want to go forward. They've got this big truck coming past now. Um, we was out earlier and we had a big grain lorry, you know. He don't move a foot, he's happy as a lot, he does his job. At the end of the day, you know, it concerns me, novice to drive, and I know he's already, already uh, you know, uh, a riding horse, but a novice horse, novice driver. It's always a bad combination, never was a good one. So you want, you know, you know, just be aware and have perhaps one of them lads, I think you said you got access to the lads up there, just to go with you the first couple of times you go out, just to be on the safe side, make sure everything's as it should be. So um, we've got our horse right, coming down here now, asking him to come through. That takes very, a great deal of bravery. So all the bumping and knocking, you can see here, jammed up. Good boy. All I'm going to do is just move that because it's going to jam underneath this spring. So I'm just going to move it to there so that Fletcher this is my son Fletcher, he can just knock it out of the way. You see there's no change of pace, no panic, nothing at all. You can see the nice head carriage on him. Um, I'm 
through the ribbons. And what we got today is we got the um, steel plate across the way here covered up a bit so they don't know it's there. Um, so he, he's coming onto it now and you can hear it look. And he's got to go through, climb over them cones, knock them out of the way. Then what I do is take the cones, different colour, stand him up when you're ready, Fletch. So, what you've got to do is come up so he don't know you're here, you know, and be quiet. So, we'll just be quiet for a minute, and then... And then, so although he can't see the one go under him, he can. When they do that and they roll back on their own, as that one did, often that's more frightening enough because. So. And what we want him to do is stand there. Now, if you bring the camera over, people say it can't be done. You know, Gelderlander rules. How old is he? Oh, baby. Six year old horse. Um, wearing a rubber bit in his mouth. This one happens to be a Liverpool. But if you look here, come straight in front of me with the camera. You can twist one arm up and one arm down, look, can you see? There, simple as that with my fingers, that's how soft the rubber is. So the horse is not being held in place, he's just doing as he's told because he's been asked to do it. We owe it to these horses for them to be safe, happy and confident. That's our saying if you like, or what we try and live by. So whatever it takes with each horse to get there, that's my interest. I ain't got a great deal of time for people. They don't tell you lies. I have people send horses here, just run away. Run away, smashed up motor cars and tell me that's never been touched. I'm not stupid. I do know whether horses been handled or not before. And if people are straight with me, there's one girl down in Portsmouth, she says run away smashed up some motor cars, is there anything you can do? We've done the horse, it's on one of them old films where the horse is standing over a jackhammer while it's working in the trench, going around. I had another lady from Pony and Carriage, lovely girl, said to me, quite honest and open, she said, Barry, this horse does not, can't stand another horse up behind him, he don't like it, he's uncomfortable, he's fidgety and I'm frightened he might kick back. I said, the other thing is he don't like water. So we put him in a tandem out the front, and drove him through the river. Took a little while, but the horse done it. So them problems are gone now, aren't they? So, so what I'm trying to say is, there are people out there that will tell you all sorts of things. There's other people out there that train and break horses, and I'm not knocking them. Please believe me, there's thousands of horses I never broke them all, and they go perfectly well in harness. What I am saying is, you've got these remarks made that I do hear from time to time, people come here and tell me that, oh, he's three year old, you can't do that. He won't be able, you won't be able to drive a pair. I've had people driving a team of horses safely and confidently through the middle of Andover, right, on a Saturday when it's shopping. One fella in his 60s, he had 20 hours tuition. No, he didn't, less than that. 15 hours, that's right, that particular fella. Um, you've got the lady from um, Blagden Lioness Coaches, drives teams of Frisians um, and like that. They're friends of ours now, we've known them for a while and they do come and see us, you know, when we see each other, but we, we're friends, but whether she's a friend or not, her daughter's 15 year old when she's driving a team. There's always people that want to put you down and keep you down. You can do anything with horse if you've got the confidence and the horse has got the confidence in you. 
And there's a load of nonsense talk about you can't do that with a three-year-old, you mustn't do that to an F5, you've got to be driving three years, four years with a single. Well, it was said to Melanie, you know, my own wife, uh, before she came to work for me, as it, you know, originally she came to work for me, was said to her, you know, she should only drive a Shetland. Well then, the people that said that to her, all I've got to say is, have a look on YouTube. You'll see her driving a team. You'll see her driving a pair, all stallions most of the time. You'll see her driving a brand new team that's just been put together. Pairs, singles. There's a Section A stallion, he's seven year old, only ever covered mares. She broke it, I didn't. She broke a great big horse, broke 20, 50 horses, 100 horses, I don't know. That she's done herself with no help from me. So and there he is, just looking right up there, no trouble at all. There you got Carl, you've got an Arctic running up here now. I've had Arctics come underneath from here. Look at him looking at me, look. What are you doing, you rascal? This one here with a sheep running along the top, look. Flaps, you know. Well, when, you, when they pass you, sometimes that's what the horse is. It's above where you can't see. They've got a canvas roof on, you know, on some of these trucks. So... So the horse there, look at the reins laid on his back. He's not being held there, he's not being forced. I don't believe in forcing horses to do anything. Give them the confidence. Just look at him wanting to come to me, look. Come here, babe. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Looking round at his car, nothing. Looking over there. Down there, and he's happy. Look at him resting his foot. You know, horse don't do that if he's up tight. He, he don't want it, does he? He wants to run away. He wants to be ready to run. Well, he's not ready to run with his foot, you know, up like that. So, here we go. We've got one more we're going to wait for now with the flashing lights, the big wide, you know, digger stuck on the back of it. Probably have, if it's a new one, they'd make them down or they do something with them. Then they've got flapping sheets wrapped around them sometimes. No, this one's an old one. But there you go like that, look. There's the motor coming. And not a murmur. They say to me it can't be done. The horse has been here four weeks before that he was only ridden. And don't forget, when you say, well, he was ridden, he was probably used to it. When you put the blinkers on, you take 80% of their vision away. They see the world entirely different. You know, and we owe it to them. So that they're happy, confident in any sphere of harness work. And that's all we're looking for, you know, that's it. Okay. Keep him going. Let him go through. Keep going. <laughs> 